All right, TikTok. Let's rock and roll. This is the Bourbon Jackson. The Bourbon Jackson story. To all of my fans around the world who've been following me for a long time, I'm going to break down tonight the Bourbon Jackson story. You see, just like you out there that's pursuing and you want it so bad, You've had a hard life growing up. You was raised in poverty. You was raised in the ghetto, or whatever it was. But the only thing you wanted to do was to make it better. Well, see, I'm the same way. I'm that same person. Today I'm 47. But I recall as a teenager watching my parents suffer, watching my father work hard every single day to make ends meet. Watching my father just get beat down by society. We came here from Chicago in 1977. My father was a minister. We moved here to pastor church. But see, it was very hard. Very hard for him. He was in the back of this condemned church. It had roaches, it had rats all types of nasty things and we stayed there in that church where my father was a pastor and I recall when Christmas uh, we had this church come over to bring us some toys and I recall saying one day I'm going to change this I don't like this and so I set out on a mission after high school in 1995 I said, I'm going to change this nonsense. Whatever I have to learn, and whatever I have to do, I am going to change it. I was on a path to find my true passion in life in 95. And in 2000, I walked into a kickboxing studio. I had played football in high school. I had played football with celebrity Highest Ward in high school, Forest Park High School, 94-95. So 2000, I walked into this fitness uh, arena because someone saw me at the park working out and they thought I might be a good boot camp instructor. I was broke. I was 22 years old. I was trying to find that passion. And so I walk into this fitness club for the very first time, this kickboxing club. And the man that was doing the class about my age was 45 years old. He was in great shape. I did this kickboxing class, folks, and it changed my life. I nearly died that day. But when I was on the ground, punching those pads, kicking and everything else, I began to scream like I was playing football. I began to holler. I began to motivate the whole class and had no idea I was motivating the whole class. But I thought about my father, my mother, their struggles to raise us. And I began to punch those pads and I began to tell the whole class, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. After the class, he came to me and said, you know what? I don't think you know it, but you have a serious passion. You are a serious motivator. And I didn't know it. From there, folks, that's when the journey started. That's when I designed my own cross exercise kickboxing training. And I went out into the world. I didn't have a dime. I didn't have a promotional team. I didn't have a business card. But I went out into the world and I used what I had. The business card I did have was very flimsy. But I went out there and I started passing my stuff out. I didn't have no, I didn't have no promotional team. I didn't have no financial backings. I didn't have no working capital. But I went out there to a park in Alpharetta, Georgia. I was passing out my little card. And then I ran into Pat Houston, Whitney Houston's manager. He had no idea. I got a call one day. And she said to me, you gave us your business card at the park, and I want you to be the trainer for singer Whitney Houston. I said, what? You're kidding me. She said, no. 
She said, when can you start? I said, I can start tomorrow. I went to the house and I began to train Pat Houston and her husband, Gary Houston. And then one day, Whitney came in. She said, oh, that's him? She said, yeah, that's him. He's the trainer. Whitney Houston put those pads on and she went crazy. We was both up in that room hollering and screaming, let's go. Let's go, Whitney. Let's go. Let's go. She said, girl, this man is a psycho, but I like him. And that's how the Whitney Houston story started, folks. From there, I got on Fear Factor. You know how I got on Fear Factor? Because I called the producers over 1,000 times until they said, you know what? We're going to bring you on because you won't stop calling us. See, folks, that's how I got on Fear Factor. I didn't have an agent. I didn't have no agent. I was the agent. I was the walking billboard. To this very day, I've always been my own walking billboard. No agency at all. See, folks, you have got to be willing to do the things that other people would not do in order to have what they will not have. I'm 47, and I still have the same drive. And I still have the same ferocious attitude as I had when I was in my 20s. You know why? Because I understand my why. I understand my purpose. See, when you understand your why and your purpose, you're not going to let anything get in the way. You're going to block out all forms of nonsense forever. And that is the Bourbon Jackson story. It's your life, folks. You have a passion, you go for it. You have a drive, you go for it. You have a talent, you go for it. Just go do it. Just go do it. This is Bourbon Jackson. Love you all. Keep rocking.